Hi, Bob Freeman here with Marine Max in Naples, Florida. Here today to talk to you about Sea Rays 2019 270 Sun Deck with the outboard. Let's start with the profile of the boat. As we move down towards the bow, you can see we have a two-toned hull. We've got the white hull and then with the black bottom, which really contrasts very, very nicely. It's got a beautiful flare to the bow and it does have a deep V as far as cutting through the water. So it's a very dry boat. As we move back, you're going to see the stainless steel insert and contrast again with the uh, with the white hull looks nice and uh, protects the rub rail uh, a little bit better. And then we've got the powder coated white sports tower, uh, which makes for the you don't get any canvas rattle when you're going fast because this is a 50 mile an hour boat. But you don't get any canvas rattle up there. That's what the tower gives you the strength. And also, if you have a bridge to contend with or any height issue going into an inside storage, maybe you can lower it down and uh, you'll fit in uh, just about everywhere. So we, we move to the back of the boat. The lines again, beautiful coming down to the back. We've got trim tabs on the back, a must have. And you can actually see the hull, the bottom of the hull, you can see it's, it's actually stepped. And that's what gives you the bite in the water. So when you're going to make a turn, you can, it makes a very sharp turn because it actually bites and grips the water. So it's a really, really nice hull design as far as performance is, is concerned on that. We do have the sea deck on the back. It's, uh, it's a teak look, but it's, uh, it's a synthetic material and it's, it's like foamy. It's got a cushion on it, so it's uh, softer under your feet and it doesn't get as hot. So really nice uh, new sea deck that uh, we're putting on the boats now. And then finally on the back, we've got the Mercury Verado. We've got the 350. It's all the horsepower you're going to need to push this 27 foot boat. It's, uh, it's north of 50 miles an hour. It, um, it, it gets it the whole shot under th it's three seconds tops to get it get up on plane in the top end again over 50 plenty of power for you phenomenal engine let's hop on board and um, take a look at the rest here we are on board the 270 sun deck start at the back of the boat the uh, the swim platform as we saw before has the uh, the sea deck really nice looking very rich looking and again very comfortable under the feet uh, real cushiony and, and it doesn't uh, it's not a hot surface so it's uh, I, I like it a lot I think uh, I think you'd enjoy it as well and then back here what we've done is when these boats used to have inboard upward the engine used to be inside so this is where the engine used to be and it took up a lot of space now that we have the outboard what we have left is that it's an incredible amount of storage. I mean, it really is for a 27 foot boat to have this kind of storage. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, fenders, lines, toys, whatever, whatever you've got, you've got plenty of room. And that's not all the storage we got. We've got a lot more. We move over to this one here. And this one goes all the way up. So now if you've got long things, if you've got, um, skis if you've got fishing poles or anything long that you want to you know you need the extra room that won't fit in this one more than enough room here so really nice feature as far as uh, as far as storage is concerned you won't have any trouble getting and then this actually actually this this stands up at first better seat more comfortable seating then I lower it down and it's more of a sun pad here a couple of drink holders a uh, place to charge your phone, a little place to keep your phone when you're sitting in the back with a little rubber pad on the bottom. And then as we move to the starboard side, we've got some items right in the back. So when you're hanging out back here, which is a great place to hang out, you've got the remote control for the Fusion Stereo is right here. You've got a little sprayer, so if you're coming on the boat and you've got sand or salt or anything on you, you can rinse yourself off without bringing it onto the boat. And then you've got a cooler right here. So you can ice this down and while you're sitting out here you can just get your drinks from on and here without having to get up and get inside the boat and come back out again so everything's set to hang out very comfortably on the back of the boat as we move into the cockpit area we have a boarding step here so some of the docks that we uh, you dock are going to be fixed docks not floaters well the fixed ones if you've got a low tide the, the dock is going to be up here and you can't get onto the boat from with the swim platform back down here so if it's up here you can step on here there's a piece of non-skid right here it's got a step step down and you step safely onto the boat so you know are you going to use it a lot maybe not but when it's there it's a great place to get on on and off the boat drink holders 
And as we pull into the L-shaped seating, you're gonna see it's very comfortable. You can put six adults comfortably here. You can put another three comfortably here as well. And then storage wise, you've got a third large storage. So we've got canvas and, and different things in here, but this is dry storage in here. Uh, plenty of room, again, to keep all the things you're gonna need without junking up the boat and having things all over the place. Everything's neatly put away and it's there when you need it. So storage is just fantastic. It does have a battery charger. So if by chance you left your battery switch on and you come out to go for a ride and it wouldn't start, all you gotta do is extension cord, 110, plug it in, about 30 minutes, it'll fire right up, get you out in the water, you didn't lose the day. So nice little uh, option that uh, that they added. And good, another good thing about the seating is when you're not driving and you're just you know hanging out, you're at the beach, you're just, uh, just hanging out, uh, now this seat becomes a usable seat when you're facing forward and most people don't sit in it. Now you can lounge facing this way and then do the exact same thing with the helm seat. So when you're just socializing, you've got a real comfortable place to hang out here for a decent amount of people. This boat is actually yacht certified so you can have as many people as you want on the boat as long as they have life jackets. So you're not limited on the amount of people you can put on this boat, which is, which is nice. Um, as we move back towards here, We've got the head, and the head area in here, you'll notice, you've got a window up to the side, which gives you light and fresh air. You've got a sink with the hot and cold water, and then you've got a vacuum flush head. So that's the good head. That's the one that uh, uh, all the big boats have on them, and it's, uh, it's top of the line as far as heads go. So it's uh, one, of the nice features, uh, one of the nice features on the boat. Let's move over to the helm area. Uh, they do both both seats up here, bolster. So I actually ride with the bolster up and it's actually very comfortable. And I, I like looking over the steering wheel. So that's why it's uh, it's an option to have this. I do use it. And then we've got the recessed um, fusion stereo, which which is beautiful, looks gorgeous just sitting here. And then you've got your analog devices up here. And then I've got a, uh, a smart craft in here, which gives me all my temperatures and pressures and all the fuel burns and all that kind of thing uh, on the boat, all right in the screen along with depth. So it gives you the depth in here as well. Plenty of room to put a GPS on here if you want to add it. And then uh, just nice, beautiful design, not messy, just nice, neat and clean great helm area speaker under the under the helm for the captain they don't always do that so captain uh, appreciate appreciates the good sound and let's move forward so if you've got a day that's hot or cold primarily if it could be winter time and if the winds blowing and you want to block the wind this closes and then I just flip this up closes it off and it blocks the wind so it makes it much more comfortable when you're uh, when you're out and about when it's chilly out just uh, being able to block the wind and in here, you've got dry storage. So as far as keeping uh, knapsacks and backpacks and all that thing, all that stuff you can keep in there. And also there's two tables. There's one for the back of the boat, that, and that seating area back there, and another one back here. So you get two separate tables, which is in dedicated storage, so they're not rolling around on the boat. As we move to the bow, Very comfortable, two beautiful lounges up here. They're uh, they're wide, um, they're, they'll hold anybody, and it's uh, just two people very, very comfortably lounging, but you can put four to five adults up here comfortably. We also have a filler cushion that will fill this area in here that makes a big sun pad. So we put the filler cushion down. This makes one big sun pad, so when you're just hanging out, multiple people can hang uh, can sun out here. Uh, got a couple of speakers got your handrails to hold on to and then if you were to go onto the beach and you're coming up onto the back end of the boat you got a spray here to wash the sand off so that's convenient right there and then you have the beach boarding ladder so a lot of a lot of boating that we do we go up onto uh, different uh, islands and beaches uh, Key Waden being one of them and we can uh, we deploy the ladder it's four steps it'll bring you right down to the, the sand so you're actually getting off the boat onto the sand and getting back on the boat without getting in the water. A lot of people uh, prefer that versus going to the back of the boat, which you're getting in the water and you're getting wet to get on and off the boat. Your anchor is down in there as well. 
and it's just uh, it's it's just a, a nice nice feature that uh, that's that's where your anchor ties and secures it in there and it's out of the way. So it hook it hooks right in here. So there you have it, the um, the 270 Sun Deck to 2019. They did a beautiful job on the boat. It's got the 350 on the back. Superb power, quiet, no vibrations. Um, it just does everything well. So if you're interested in it, my name is Bob Freeman. Please give me a call at 603-213-1194.